Hi, I'm Candace Cordelia on The Breakdown. 2014 was a year that issues surrounding work-life balance really took over the public imagination, especially as the problem concerns gender. A national conversation has been going on at fever pitch since a 2012 article by Anne Marie Slaughter in The Atlantic asked, can a woman have it all? The article tackled some hard questions about sacrifices it seemed many women made to achieve balance between the needs of their professional lives and their family lives. Pundits from both sides of the aisle weighed in and didn't seem to agree about much outside of the fact that there was indeed a problem. Increasingly though, others are questioning the conversation itself. Is a work-life balance, especially as it regards families and pregnancy, really a woman's issue? Dr. Aaron Reed, a researcher at Boston University's Questrom School of Business, says it's more complicated. Reed conducted a study of 82 employees at AGM, a high-powered consulting firm for the Harvard Business Review. The results were illuminating. Like other big firms, the culture at AGM is all about hard work and putting in the time. 60 to 80 hour work weeks are the norm and everyone is always on their mobile device. The more committed you are, the bigger the rewards and the quicker you're promoted. This kind of work culture has obvious drawbacks for women. Other studies have shown that similar situations can effectively punish them for choosing to become mothers. Women who ask for reduced hours or leave are often passed over for promotions and not seen as ideal workers. Surprisingly though, the study found that men face similar problems. Reed says that men as well as women tended to be unhappy with the always-on lifestyle. It often led to poor health and even substance abuse. Men who ask for paternity leave, something guaranteed by federal law under the Family Medical Leave Act, met with resistance from employers. Those who took leave to start families were told that they would not receive yearly performance reviews due to prolonged absence from work. The result? Being passed over for promotions. It seems no one is happy with the status quo of a 24-7 culture and Reed believes it needs to change. The problem is getting more and more coverage, as viewers most recently saw from a current segment about the hypocrisy of Mother's Day in America on HBO's Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. Whether we will see change in the way firms address issues surrounding work-life balance is anyone's guess, but one thing we now know for sure is that it's not just a problem for women. Let us know your thoughts about this story by sending your comments and suggestions to suggestions at bennetwork.com. I'm Candace Cordelia, and this has been your diversity breakdown on the Ben Network, where jobs come first.